freezing here. Phew, so hot. Ah, it's freezing again. Heat. Cold. Hot. Cold. Hot. Because the age-old problem at a cabin is that it's either too hot or it's too cold, and you try to guess where to put uh, your drafter. Do you open it halfway, one quarter, and 20 minutes or a half hour later, and it's too hot or it's too cold, especially when you go to bed. Uh, you wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning, and you're sweating, or it's freezing. So you have to get out of bed and go uh, adjust your damper again. How about if you could have something that could regulate this for you? So you well, I'm going to show you what I did. It works flawlessly, and I'm hoping I can explain it so you can have yours uh, installed just like mine. I have electricity here, uh, only supplied by wind, a wind generator and uh, some solar panels. So what I did was I hooked up this uh, thermostat, the exact same one you would put in your house, and in the receptacle box beyond the wall here, secured away is a voltage reducing unit or a transformer and you can buy those at any hardware store or online or whatever and the purpose of that is this uh, there's 110 volts going to this thermostat the the gray box that I showed you here is actually a zone control valve that's used either on a wood furnace door or on um, circulating uh, pipes with hot water in them. They come with a brass fitting on the bottom here and uh, I just simply unscrewed that and took it off. So back to the thermostat. 110 volts goes in here. It's wired into this voltage reducer which is beyond the wall again here and that reduces the voltage from 110 to 24 volts now coming from that uh, voltage reducer uh, is a wire that goes through the walls it comes over behind my wood furnace comes out through the wall here you see this yellow wire and goes into the back of this zone control valve this one is made by Honeywell and what it does, the way those, or the way that those zone control valves work is they either open or close. There's no halfways or in between. So when this thing gets a signal from the thermostat telling it to open, it opens all the way. From, I, I put this, uh, just this little metal bracket thing. I just made that up uh, with a piece of uh, metal and drilled some holes into it. And I put a clothes hanger from here to this drafter. So, uh, what happens when it reaches the desired temperature? So, okay, you set your temperature when you come down on the weekend at 20 degrees, say. You don't touch your thermostat anymore. Your thermostat does the work for you just like it does home. When it senses that it's uh, 20 degrees here, it sends a signal back to the zone control valve just stopping the signal altogether because it's warm enough and when it shuts off the zone control valve it simply closes and as soon as your thermostat uh, realizes that it's you know 18 degrees or whatever it cuts back in it turns the power back on your zone control valve which opens it up which then in turn opens up your drafter again it I made up another little bracket and just kind of, uh, I on the other side here so you can see it. I just screwed, uh, drilled a couple of holes back here on the lip of this uh, top of my stove here and put a couple of bolts in there. Now you'll see this little stem. This is the stem that comes down in the original unit when you buy it. And it opens and closes a valve um, in your hot water pipe system. And I just engineered this uh, piece of metal to here. This is what it's actually turning. And uh, I'll see that the uh, thermostat closes in a second to show you that. And there it closes. And the thermostat cuts back in.
it simply opens it back up again. So with my stove, I just have it hooked up to uh, one drafter. Uh, I leave the other one closed all the time. You know, unless I really want uh, some hot fire fast, and I can just push it open. But for the most part, that one just stays closed, and that one uh, drafter is enough to regulate the heat in the cabin. Now you may wonder if your stove doesn't have a drafter type system like this. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. It can be any sliding drafter um, set up that uh, around, you know, some stoves have them down here and they just slide back and forth. As long as there's not too much resistance on it, you could mount your zone control valve off to the side down here and have it opening and closing down here. Or, uh, with any stove, really, you can make up your own uh, drafter like this and it's just a matter of, with the appropriate tool, to cut your hole here and put a flap on like this one and you could just close off your regular uh, damper that's down here. So you may ask the question, how well does this system work, or how long have I had it set up here? Well, I've actually had it set up here for over a decade, and uh, it's never failed me once. Not one component uh, failed to work. Uh, it works uh, so well, in fact, that when your cabin reaches that equilibrium, where you've had your fire in your cabin long enough to warm up your couches and your cans of soup and everything else that's in your cupboards, once you strike that equilibrium and you keep a sensible amount of wood in your stove, then it actually uh, keeps your temperature in your cabin within two to three degrees. It just keeps on opening and closing. And uh, before you go to bed at nighttime, you put in a couple junks of wood or whatever you're used to, and you wake up at two o'clock in the morning or whenever, and the temperature is still 20 degrees. So it works really, really well. So guys, I hope that I uh, explained this to you today. I hope you can give it a try. And uh, if you do try it and it works, let me know. Let me know if you've got any comments about this. Thanks for watching again, and we'll catch you on the next video. Burr. I think I'll start this fire right now.